together, Jim, Brian, Pastor Jason, and I are going to cover the book of Revelation in this next fall course. Please join us as we see the Son of God, the Son of Man, Jesus Christ revealed, and to see what God's plan is for the ages. We're going to cover some confusing and very significant topics found in the book of Revelation. Are you ready? Hi, everybody. Daryl Bales here. I'm taking this opportunity to invite you to join with Kyle Klein and me into a study of the book of James. James is an incredibly practical book that tells us how to put our faith into practice every day. You see, James focuses on the problem of the world creeping into the church. And by the church, I mean into my life and into your life. So with open hearts and minds, we want to appropriate the encouragements and the exhortations that James has for us so that we can maintain healthy Christian lives. On a personal note, I'd like to tell you how much James has meant in my own personal Christian growth. Many times I find that God brings to mind verses that I first learned through the intensive study of the book of James. And I know that God can and will do that for you as well. So I'm asking you to prayerfully consider joining us for this Core One study into the book of James. Well, everyone, this fall I'll be teaching one of our Core One classes entitled Test Everything, Social Justice, Critical Theory, and the Gospel. Social justice is a hot topic in our culture right now. Society is unsettled and things are unstable. We see many voices, including politicians, celebrities, and even some Christian leaders, embrace a particular take on matters of justice. That take is based on a loose worldview known as critical theory. Yet most people don't even know what it is. So what is critical theory? Where do these ideas come from? How do we navigate these conversations? Most importantly, what do scriptures have to say? We will answer all of these questions and much more. There will be a touch of philosophy, history, and apologetics. Expect to be challenged and rewarded as we study this out together. Everything around us is unsettled, and I want to give you a solid place to stand. The name for this class is taken from 1 Thessalonians 5.21, which says, Test everything, hold fast to what is good. I hope you will join me and test critical theory this fall. Greetings, this is Rob Larson here. I'm introducing a new Core 1 class for this fall. September, October, and November. The name in the class is His Needs, Her Needs, Understanding Men and Women. That should be interesting. Unfortunately, we're seeing some sad things in marriage today. Unhappy marriages, distant marriages, divorce, drifting apart, adulterous affairs. All these are all too common. This course is designed to safeguard your marriage by better understanding your mate. Most marriages fail or are not very close because needs are not being met. The problem is that male and female needs are vastly different. Our class will focus on learning the God-designed unique needs of men and women. God made us all different, male and female. This class will be very beneficial for single adults as well who want to avoid relational mistakes during dating, courtship, and the first year of marriage. The first year of marriage can be pretty rough. The class will also be for those married 25 years. It's never too late to start healing a marriage or making it better. Sad fact, many marriages or many folk are divorcing after 25 years or 30. Plus our children are watching. Poor marriages contribute to children walking away from God. The health of marriages impacts our children, grandchildren, church health, and the world we want to impact for God. Some of the topics that we're gonna cover, women need conversation, men need respect, loving when not loved, disagreeing on money, and how to spend it, affair proofing your marriage, helping men meet their wives' need for love, helping wives be better lovers, women need honesty and openness, marriage can be difficult and painful, yet rewarding and wondrous, major conflict, parenting, her need, family commitment. We'll be looking at a number of resources. Please contact me on which ones will be primarily used in our class. Of 
course, the Bible, Genesis 2, Ephesians 4 and 5, 1 Corinthians 7, Song of Solomon, Proverbs 5, and many more. One primary book we're gonna be using is Willard F. Harley's book, His Needs, Her Needs. Another primary book will be Gary Smalley, If He Only Knew. And then three books by Jeff and Shanti Feldham, really good books for men and all, for women only, for men only, and also one on money, and how we look at money differently. Another book, uh, Wayne A. Mack, Strengthening Your Marriage, and we have a, another list of great resources we're going to be looking at. Quite a few books. Plus, we'll be using these resources to help us zero in and different things we can improve in each of our part of marriage. Please sign up. This will be an impactful class for your marriage and future marriage if you're not married.